What's up guys, I did here and here's the promised skin and knife changer Cisco game hacking tutorial. And I'm trying to do this similarly to my FOV aimbot tutorial, so with a slide presentation uh, I made with Google Slides or slides.google.com, whatever. Let's start off with what we know already. So we know about the player that the player base or basically the information about the player we have is health, team, position, etc. But we also can have the camera model, basically the model in front of the camera. We know that we can't see our own model. What we see is just a camera floating on the map and we control it. And the front of that camera, from our perspective, there is basically these hand model and they contain animations, obviously. And these hand models made with any weapon we have in CSGO, any gadget we have in CSGO and obviously also the knives. So as I said in the previous video, in the information video, that changing the skin is easier than changing the knife because we obviously on skins have the weapon and we still have the weapon every time. It's the same weapon, it doesn't matter which skin it is for the AK, it's still an AK, right? But the knives, we have a different model we see in front of our camera. So therefore we need to change that and not only once, we need to change it every time we basically switch to the knife. Which also means we need to know when we have the knife in hand, but we'll come to that later. Also we can see what we have in our inventory, you know, the bottom right information, what uh, weapons we have, and there it also uh, is different for every knife. The shape and what it says, basically for the skin obviously also. So let's go to the weapon base. We know about the weapon base that it contains the uh, weapon ID, it contains the owner ID, or shall I say that later, I don't know but it also contains the ammo, so in clip and in total obviously, etc. And there we have it. We have information about the skin, so we have information about the skin, who is the owner, what name tag is on it, what's the weir, so the float value, how people like to call it, even though many people don't even know why it's called float value, but it's because the weir is in the data type float. So they say like, your float is uh, shit, whatever, and then you're like kind of a programmer talking about floats as a data type, and it's like, uh, yeah, float value, I know that from CS, but they don't know why it's called float. Anyways, uh, also stat track, and yeah, I think that's it, we, uh, what about we should know. So yeah, we access the player first, so the pointer to our player, then we access the hand model, which is an integer, basically the hand model whatever you have in front of your face when you're playing uh, is basically a hand with something in the hand and in the previous video we have seen that we can also have a big knife in our face which is basically the knife model we can see mm, I, I'm not sure if we can see that uh, on the player's hand but we can see that once uh, yeah, we c when can we see that? basically if it would be laying on the ground we could see the knife like that like any other weapon we can see on the ground, it's that model, that big fat model in our face. Once we get to that model we have, we can change it to the desired model we want. So we have found out that we cannot just change it to any knife in hand model, we can change any uh, hand model to any other model in the game which we can access. And next, the model lumps on maps. I've also stated that in that video that each map has different models, it has different amount of models, which means for us that we have to find, uh, which means for us that the knives and knife hand models are on different positions in these ins. So let's say bayonet knife is on 500 on dust, it will be like 550 on inferno. Not exactly. I have those uh, written down so I can work with that, but I mean, you have to find them for each knife separately. Because obviously dust has like rocks, but another map which is like, I don't know, nuke doesn't have like yellow rocks on it. So these models are left out. That's why it could have uh, different models instead, but maybe it's got less models, we don't know. So to sum up, we have to find the knife position, knife hand positions uh, on every map. And for custom maps also, we have to find those. and. Yeah, so changing the weapon base, or weapon, changing the weapon, let's put it this way. So first we went to, uh, to find the pointer to our weapon, and we can either do it with the active weapon in our hand, or the weapons we have in our inventory. Then we can change the inventory item, so it displays uh, inside the inventory which item we have. That's not necessary, we can have 
well, it's more beautiful, obviously, if you have a karambit in hand, you also have that in your inventory, like a karambit, not like just knife saying the knife without the skin, and yeah, it doesn't look legit if it doesn't say so, but it's an optional uh, possibility to do that. And then we also change the skin, weir, which is float, that's why it's an F there, I is for integer, stat track and name tag, we can also do any name tag we want. What this means here is that first we find the pointer and then we go step by step for all these changing them. And here again, my weapons and active weapons, so the active weapon is the one we have in hand, so in this example we have the knife in hand, and in our inventory you have like AK and Glock, so we have to change the model when we switch to the knife. You can switch it afterwards, but it also means that first of all you get the original knife in hand and then it's changed. So if you do that too slowly, then you will also see the standard knife. For my weapons, and I just noticed this a bit uh, lower than this one, but anyways, I'm not really good with this uh, software, slide software. So yeah, for the my weapons, uh, we can just change them inside our inventory, not even even having them in hand, which is better, otherwise we would change it once it's in our hand and that would be very annoying and we could only change one uh, at a time because we need to update uh, the game and which this means that the rest would disappear. So that's why we change it when our knife is in hand and these can stay like they are because we're not changing the model, right? We are, we're just changing, or yeah, we are applying a skin to them. And the game thinks that our AK has the skin and it will stay like that. You don't have to update for that one all the time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps you out and yeah, see you guys next time. Peace out.